All right, this is session recap for the 23rd day of uh, April. This morning we had flash manufacturing and flash, uh, uh, all the flash, flash, flash stuff. And it created a reaction to the downside. It was it was all negative and they went down, all right? We got tops in places and you can see MACD's telling you you're headed down on a 60. So we are a seller on dollar, right? Which means we're a buyer on Euro and Euro went right to target to the ATR and stopped dead. Got a low ATR, nothing to do. Watch for it to move up in here. It's only got about 58 pips or something like that. Pretty, pretty low. All right, hard to trade it. Pound dollar, we got about 83 pips. So that's nice. And it'll go up tonight, uh, tomorrow, because we put in this extra up in here. Watch for about 90 pips up in here tonight. One, two, three, right up into this area here, 2528, where that T30 is. That's three T30s. So watch for that tonight. All right. Put a slope support across here so we know we're absolutely in a buy. All right. There you go. All right. Swiss franc, we're going to get heads up on the dollar. And it says, yep, we're 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 making lower lows, uh, lower highs, lower lows, all right? Going down, zero line break, dollar should go down. So we can't trade it yet because the ATR is too low on the dollar Swissy. All right. Over to uh, dollar yen. All right, we're in this trade live. We did trade it down this morning, and all of a sudden we got this mess up here, and uh, you know it's back up here, testing whether to go up in this area. We did check the indices. We found out they were that uh, there was a strong uh, buy on yens and a strong sell on yen, on uh, uh, dollar. So that means dollar yen. If it follows the indices, it should go to the upside. And that's why this is our bailout zone, because this is a trade that just didn't work. It started and it just stopped dead. And right now, I'm about to get stopped out here. So there we go. Aussie dollar, right? Aussie dollar. And here we go. Got a little bit left up here. Not much. We waited for a pullback here and just never got one. And uh, we should hit that by uh, day's end up there. Uh, target is 6,500 euro yen, all right? Euro yen, almost a target now. And they did see how they sent a wick up there. Uh, they, they respected the channel, but they hit the target to the pip with a wick. See, that's why you stay in. And when you get right there, you better know where that is because they're only going to be there a nanosecond. All right. We need a pullback now and we don't have one. All right. See, here's another one fundy that didn't go either. See right there. All right. Pound yen. Same thing over here, all right? Pound yen went to the pip to its to its ATR and to the pip to the 1,000. See that? That's why you hold for the 1,000 if it's above the ATR. There's a great example of it right there. Already done and uh, nothing for us to do there. Uh, watch for it to complete the move. Dollar goes down, it goes opposite. Watch for them to take out the top of the range tonight. Can't trade New Zealand dollar yet. It's too low, an ATR, Aussie yen. All right, as again, we're waiting for a pullback here and then a go again. All right, so we got to get 55 pips and uh, we do have an Aussie in here. So maybe we'll get a pullback. Let's go up here and find out where that is. 55 pips down. We got a pullback just down to here. Now you got a trade, all right? And uh, not very much of one, but it is one there. So there it is right there. Trade one will be here. Trade two will be up there. All right, so there you go. All right. Euro pound can't trade. It's only got a 23 pip ATR over here to uh, Euro Aussie. We are in this trade. It did pull back on us too. We're watch watching for it to turn to the downside and go down to the target down here at 64.59. All right. So we got a pullback. We're waiting for it to continue down. Trade one is here. Trade two is here. Swiss yen. All right. Blog post this morning going the other way right now. And we need it to bounce. And our target is up here at 170.52. All right, so um, you might take the bounce here. That's trade one, that's trade two. You can see it pretty easily. Pound Aussie, all right, Pound Aussie, we broke out and uh, went to the pip to its ATR. All right, see, so they know the ATR is. Now the question is, are they gonna continue up in here? All right, right now they're showing signs that they're gonna go opposite of the dollar, all right? That's what they're showing signs. So, all right, bulls have got it, opposite of the dollar because dollar's going down. So once you got uh, confirmation of that, look for up in here tonight. And, uh, you know, the ATR on this currency is 122 pips. So 122 pips up, four T30s. You're in New Zealand, all right? You're in New Zealand. Uh, we're waiting. We don't have any room here at this point in time. They already took the ATR up. up. We're looking for the down move, actually, because it's a real estate of the week trade. 
And it's quite possible that they now have a head and shoulders in play. You can see the left shoulders over here. That's the head right there. And this might be the right shoulder. So they may be ready to go now to the downside. So watch for that tonight. That's a big opportunity on Neuro New Zealand tonight. All right. So we'll see. All right. Over to Pound New Zealand. All right. Pound New Zealand bulls still got it. And they're showing you that they are going to get they're, they're more and more. They're saying we're going to go opposite of the dollar index. Bulls still got it. We are still in a down channel for another real estate of the week trade. So be aware if it turns, you got a big target down here at 220369. Uh, New Zealand dollar. All right, halfway to target right now. Uh, we need it to pull back, hopefully down to the channel. If they pull back to the channel, we'll get an ATR that is going to pull us up here about 92.50 tonight. So pull back to the channel would be sweet. And uh, like that, then bounce. Trade one will be here. Trade two will be here, up to there. All right, so there you go. Maybe we'll see it. All right, uh, Aussie Swissy and Aussie New Zealand can't be traded, but Pound Swissy can, and it went to the pip to its ATR. So there you go. All righty.